we as disabled people live in absolute fear of DWP brown envelopes landing on our doorstep. You're just filled with dread each time because time and again they're just telling you that they don't think that you're eligible. Arabella Tresillian lives near Bath, more than 200 miles from Carol Vickers in Leeds. But their stories echo each other. Carol has eight conditions that leave her in continuous pain. Every bit of standing, walking, bending hurts. The brown envelope was meant to bring financial support, but instead her claim for the disability benefit, personal independence payment, known as PIP, was turned down. Bella, come here. She does qualify for this assistance dog, Bella, who can help empty the washing machine. Phone, find it. Where's phone? And fetch her phone. But when it came to that PIP assessment, it's an absolutely traumatising experience. It feels as if you're there to be accused of lying almost. And any little thing that you can achieve seems to be held against you. The fact that I'm wearing a nice dress, that counts against me. And often you meet an assessor who knows nothing about your medical conditions. There were clear parallels for Arabella, who had to be supported financially by her daughter, then 16, when autism, PTSD and suicidal thoughts left her unable to work. But when she tried to qualify for PIP... That assessment must have been one of the most traumatic events of my life. We were welcomed by someone who posed as a receptionist, who then watched us in the waiting room for 20 minutes and then introduced herself as actually she was the assessor and she'd been assessing us. Despite her disabilities, Arabella was turned down and it took taking the case to tribunal to overturn the decision. The tribunal is horrendous. It was a court of justice, it was me in front of a judge. The fact that this is what we make dis disabled people do is just astonishing. For me, I associated being in court with having done something criminal. ITV News can exclusively reveal how much the government spends fighting appeals like Arabella's. £443 million since 2013. Research by the charity Scope suggests £200 million of that was when PIP or Employment Support Allowance had been wrongly denied. In total, 1.2 million decisions were overturned. As part of this investigation, we've heard from two whistleblowers. One, an assessor in 2020, did not dare go on camera. But Andy Hill did, because five years have now passed and he's no longer a registered nurse. I feel I can speak on the record now where before I've, I've not spoken on the record, because this is obviously still continuing. So what was it like doing these assessments? The whole process of the interview was trying to catch people out. You know, you were tr watching them from the moment they came in. You'd ask them questions, you know. Um, they'd say, well, you know, to use an example, if they had perhaps arthritis in their shoulder, they can't brush their hair, well, that might help them to, to gain an award. But then if they did this at any point during the interview or, or kind of touch their shoulder or something like that, you'd be, have to note that down. That would therefore count against them. Andy says managers try to get him to downgrade scores, but he refused in writing. That's what made up my mind to resign. He lasted just four months. The other whistleblower we spoke to, only seven. His story was just like Andy's, having to assess people who had conditions on which he had no specialist expertise, given just 20 minutes to prepare, being told to mark people down if they turned up with neat hair or clean shaven. He also felt the job was designed to stop disabled people getting benefits rather than to help them. The Department for Work and Pensions strongly refute these allegations, saying they're anecdotal and paint a misleading picture. They say independent research shows high levels of claimant satisfaction and that only 5% of PIP decisions are overturned at appeal. But not everyone agrees. I leave you feeling like a lesser person. I would pretty much do anything to avoid going through PIP again. Anushka Astana, ITV News.